Listen, it is Talking Out Tuesday on the show this morning. And this morning, we are switching it up a bit. And uh, I have somebody very close to me on the line. I got my daughter, Erin Smiley, uh, and CEO and founder of Strive Right, uh, I'm sorry, of Strive Counseling Services in Birmingham, Alabama, licensed clinical therapist, Crystal Mullen Johnson. Uh, good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Morning. Right. Morning. Now, for those of you, uh, for those of you uh, who don't know, just over a year ago, Aaron was caught in an unintentional crossfire and uh, was shot multiple times uh, while sitting at a red light in Houston. And it has taken a whole lot of just, you know, a lot of physical rehabilitation, but also, uh, you know, taking time out to address how this event has affected her mentally in dealing uh, with that trauma. Uh, Aaron, good morning, love. Good morning. Yeah, uh, you know, for those out there who have never had a chance to sit down and speak to a therapist, uh, what is your experience like and how do you think it has helped your recovery process? I think that therapy was the biggest thing for me that helped me personally. Um, Mentally, it was just something that I felt like helped me deal with everything that I went through. I had someone to talk to. I had someone to do, you know, workshops with to help me and teach me, you know, exercises for, you know, when I'm getting flashbacks or when I'm having a panic attack, stuff like that. Um, It really has been like the best thing. I think it's helped me improve in in a lot of ways, but especially with the accident. Counselor Crystal, I got a question for you. What, What do you feel like that helps people the most when, you know, talking to a therapist after a traumatic experience that Aaron's been through? Yeah, I think it's very important, first and foremost, Um, As you are seeking out therapy, that you are honest about your experiences. Um, I think often um, some try to suppress their emotions, but the transparency is important for the therapist to understand the symptoms that you are experiencing to teach you um, healthy coping skills um, Mm -hmm. and that it's critical um, and um, to get the most out of your therapy. Therapy is so important to find a good fit. Um, just as you are seeking out a primary physician for your physical health treatment, if it's not a good fit, you may choose another uh, physician. So, however, that works in the same way. But being consistent about your uh, attending your therapy sessions and practicing the skill, um, many believe that 60 minutes is enough to improve their symptoms and their expectations can be unrealistic. So it's so important outside of therapy that you apply the skill, just like Erin mentioned. Um, Mm. You know, you get the most out of it when you do that and take notes so you can reflect back on those sessions that you had and also journal to recognize or identify um, the progress that you're making in therapy. So Erin, you know, we have been here praying for you and rooting for you. Um, we were all devastated when this happened. And it's been a year now. So it's a year after the incident. How are you feeling? Um, initially, uh, when it was around my birthday time a couple weeks ago, I was feeling really anxious. Um, you know, I didn't want to be in Houston. I was experiencing a little bit more um, kind of PTSD. I kind of just stopped driving at nighttime altogether. Um, Mm. And then I I decided it was probably best if I don't spend my birthday in Houston. So I I spent it with my grandparents. Um, But as of now, I think now that it's passed, I am doing a whole lot better. Um, But yeah, I just, I was, I was really uneasy about it, especially because, you know, the 4th of July, all the fireworks, it it didn't really help. Um, I literally, like, I did not go outside for those like three days. But um, after that, I was okay. <laughs> right. Now, now, if somebody uh, thought about going to therapy and have a question and, uh, you know, and they would like to reach you, uh, Crystal, how can they follow you? Of course. So um, there are several um, options. So you can follow me on 
Instagram, and that is a strive underscore counseling. And my website is strivebhm.com. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's strive underscore C. And on Facebook, it's Strive Counseling Services. Hey, thank you so much, Erin, for checking in with us, uh, uh, my beautiful youngest daughter, my baby girl. You know I love you, right? Aaron. I love you too. Yeah, baby. Thank but, y'all. And uh, and and Crystal Mullen Johnson, member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. You know it. You know it. You know I got to show that divine line some love. <laughs> hey, thank y'all so much. Hey, love, love y'all. Y'all have a blessed day, man. Uh, make sure y'all get into therapy. More Rick's Fine Morning Show coming up. 